solve the system of equations by gauss elimination method where x plus y plus z equal to 6 second equation 2x minus 3y plus 4z equals to 8 x minus y plus 2z equal to 5 the given system of equations can be written as ax equal to b here a is called coefficient matrix x is nothing but variable matrix and b is constant matrix a equal to 1 comma 1 comma 1 second row 2 minus 3 4 third row 1 minus 1 2 x equal to column wise x y z b equal to 6 8 5 now consider argument augmented matrix a by b means that is augmented matrix 1 1 1 6 2 3 4 8 third row 1 1 2 again we are adding that column 5 means augmented matrix means a matrix means again we are adding in the fourth column as constant matrix that is augmented matrix here you convert this augmented matrix into echelon form by using row operations but the difference between echelon form and gauss elimination method the first element first principal diagonal element is 1 that should be not equal to 0 means that is called first pivot first pivot is not equal to 0 and you should not multiply if it is r2 changes then you should not multiply with any number to that r2 r2 changes as r2 only but in echelon form we have written 2r2 3r2 like that we have written now in the second row first element is zero in the third row first two elements i need zeros if you want to convert in that form then using the first principal diagonal element you make below elements as zeros below that principal diagonal element as zeros then r2 changes as r2 minus 2r1 and r3 changes as r3 minus r1 then first row i am writing as it is like 1 1 1 6 2 minus 2 0 -3 -2 -5 4 -2 2 8 -12 -4 -2 -2 -2 -2 next third row r3 changes as r3 minus r1 1 minus 1 0 -1 -1 -2 2 -1 1 5 minus 6 minus 1 now after completion of this one you observe the second row second column element this is called second principal diagonal and it is also called second pivot second pivot is not equal to zero then you can proceed again you convert into echelon form minus 5 which is not equal to zero then you you should make minus 2 as zero below that principal diagonal element then <coughs> you should not multiply with r3 as 5 uh, then r3 changes as r3 minus 2 by 5 into r2 previously in echelon form i wrote there 5 r3 minus 2 r2 like that i wrote there right but you should not write like that r3 ch- r3 changes as r3 minus 2 by 5 into r2 then first row 1 1 1 6 2 second row 0 minus 5 2 and minus 4 third row 0 0 1 by 5 and 3 by 5 now the above matrix is in echelon form then the above system can be written as 1 1 1 0 minus 5 2 0 0 1 5 5 x y z equal to 6 minus 4 and 3 by 5 now on multiplication matrix multiplication x plus y plus z equal to 6 minus 5 y plus 2 z equal to minus 4 minus 1 by 5 z equal to 3 by 5 5 5 cancel z equal to 3 now substitute z equal to 3 into 2 becomes as minus 5 plus 2 into 3 minus 4 minus 5y equal to minus 10 then y equal to 2 substitute z equal to 3 y equal to 2 in 1 x plus 2 plus 3 equal to 6 x equal to 6 minus 5 x equal to 1 therefore x equal to 1 y equal to 2 and z equal to 3 this is the solution by gauss elimination method now gauss seidel iteration method then how to solve the system of linear equation by gauss seidel iteration method suppose consider the system of linear equations a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus a13 x3 equal to b1 
ए टू वन एक्स वन प्लस ए टू टू एक्स टू प्लस ए टू थ्री एक्स थ्री ईक्वल्स टू बी टू ए थ्री वन एक्स वन प्लस ए थ्री टू एक्स टू प्लस ए थ्री थ्री एक्स थ्री इक्वल टू बी थ्री लाइक दिस दे हाउ गिवन थ्री सिस्टम ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेश इन थ्री वेरियबल्स थ्री अनोन वेरियबल्स एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स थ्री नौ अवर एम इज टू क्यालुलेट एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स थ्री हिय दबो सिस्टम इज डयग्नली डामेट सिस्टम डयग्नली डामेट सिस्टम मीन मॉड्युलस ऑफ ए वन वन इज ग्रेटर दैन मॉड्युलस ऑफ ए वन टू प्लस मॉड्युलस ऑफ ए वन थ्री मीन मॉड्युलस ऑफ द क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्स वन इज मोर दैन दि सम ऑफ दि मॉड्युलस ऑफ दो क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्स टू एंड एक्स थ्री सम ऑफ दो क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्स टू एंड एक्स थ्री देन इफ इट इज लाइक दैट देन इन द सेम वे सिमिलरली मॉड्युलस ऑफ ए टू टू इज ग्रेटर दैन मॉड्युलस ऑफ ए टू वन प्लस मॉड्युलस ऑफ ए टू थ्री मॉड्युलस ऑफ ए थ्री थ्री क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्स थ्री हियर ग्रेटर दैन मॉड्युलस ऑफ ए थ्री वन प्लस मॉड्युलस ऑफ ए थ्री टू मीन फर्स्ट इन द फर्स्ट वन मॉड्युलस ऑफ सॉरी क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्स वन इट शुड बी मोर दैन दि कंपेरिंग टू अदर इफ यू आर एडिंग दि अनदर क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्स टू एंड एक्स थ्री इन द सेम वे क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्स टू इन द थर्ड इक्वेशन क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्स थ्री दिस इज द मीनिंग ऑफ डायग्नली डामेट सिस्टम If it if it happens like this only, they can we can write the x one x one. You can write the equations of x one x two x three. X one equal to one by a one one means a one one x one. You keep this side only. The remaining terms you can send that side. B one minus a one two x two minus a one three x three into one by a one one. The similarly x two equal to one by a two two into b two minus a two one x one. Minus a two three x three, x three equal to one by a three three into b three minus a three one x one minus a three two x two. Like this, you construct the equations x one x two x three. Consider the initial approximations while calculating the first approximation x one. You calculate the initial appro initial approximations zero the approximation of x two and zero the approximation of x three in x one. Means both you have to consider as zeros. Then x one first approximation x one becomes as one by a one one into b one minus a one two zero the approximation of x two minus a one three into zero the approximation of x three. It becomes first approximation. In the same way, now I have first approximation of x one and in second equation first approximation of x one x three I don't know. Then you consider that is as zero. Means substitute first approximation of x1 and zero the approximation of x3 in x2. Then first approximation of x2 equal to one by a22 into b2 minus a21 a21 into first approximation of x1 minus a23 zero the approximation of x3. Now I have first approximation of x1 and first approximation of x2. You substitute in third x3. Then first approximation of x3 equal to one by a33 into b3 minus a31 into first approximation of x1 minus a32 into first approximation of x2. Similarly, calculate calculate the second approximation of x x1, second approximation of x2, second approximation of x3, and so on. If last two sets of approximations are same, then conclude x1, x2, x3 values. This is nothing but Gauss-Seidel. Uh, iteration method